PayPal stock is up around 3% off of the news today off of the announcement of their new CEO. Now in today's video, we're gonna go over PayPal and how it's a company that I'm currently holding. It's one that I'm about break even on. I own this company 200 shares worth at right around $65 per share. But since I last covered this company a couple weeks ago, a lot have changed. They've announced their quarter two 2023 results and I have not covered that yet in this video. We're gonna do that here today, talking about active accounts, talking about free cash flow, revenue growth, all that good stuff. And then also we're gonna talk about the new announcement of PayPal going into the stable coin market. Now this is something that's very interesting. I wasn't sure that this was gonna happen and I find it very shocking, but something that's not shocking to me is the announcement of this new CEO. We all knew this was coming. They've been announcing this over the last several months and they've actually started their search back in February. So about six months ago, they finally picked somebody and it was Alex Chris. We're gonna give the bullet points of all three of these major new points that have happened just in the last month or so of PayPal. The announcement of their most recent quarterly results, the announcement of the US dollar stable coin that they just launched about a week or two ago, and then the announcement of the brand new CEO they announced just today, or by the time you guys are watching this yesterday, and how I think this will affect the company. Generally speaking, the stock is up today. It's been in a decent uptrend, and it's moved up about $2 off the back of these news. So if you haven't seen me before, thank you all for joining. Please check out down below. We have the opportunity of a lifetime, which prices start at $50 per session, but you can speak to me about your financial goals, your investing habits, any and everything money that you want to speak to me about and get to meet me in person, we can do that call through either Zoom or cell phone and you can reach out through the email below. But other than that, guys, let's go ahead and talk about PayPal and what this company did over the last quarter and what I'm planning to do with my investments. Now, what I have right now is 200 shares and I also own one uh, one little piece of call options here. And this is very short term. I actually bought these today. We're up around 4%. I bought them off the announcement of the new CEO. I might hold these short term, but I don't expect it to be long term. So the main thing you need to focus on here is the 200 shares that I currently own at around $65 each. Now in the most recent quarter, they grew 7% and free cash flow is actually in the negative because one of the big things I look for is profitability and this company is actually free cash flow negative this quarter. However, it is due to some one-time costs. Now these one-time costs are due to some, some short-term things with the, with the held for sale loans that they have for the buy now pay later that they're selling later this year, probably within the next quarter or so. And you look at their adjusted free cash flow, if you take that away, it's at 0.9 billion. Now, that's great that it's not negative and it's far in the positive, but 0.9 billion is still a shrinking number versus last year's 1.1. That is a downturn of around 10% or so, and that is not what I want to see for a company like this shrinking free cash flow when I'm expecting them to grow free cash flow. Same thing for their operating cash flow. This is also way in the negative versus where it was just a year ago. And one of the big reasons why this company is selling down is actually not because of the free cash flow, but it's because of this line I'm highlighting right here. Active accounts. Now year over year, the company is higher than it was one year ago, but quarter over quarter for the last two sequential quarters from December to March to June of this year, they have went down about 2 million each and every quarter. At the peak of the end of the year, they were at 435 million active accounts. They dropped 2 million to 433. And then this quarter, they dropped another 2 million to 431. Now, once again, year over year, they're around flat. They have a slight uptick from 429 to 431, but that's not what investors care about. They're looking at a recent downturn over the last six months where people are leaving PayPal. That is not good to see. They've left around 1% just over the last six months. Now, number of payment transactions are still up and they are going up in a big, big way. This can especially be seen by payment transactions per active account. You can see that this has been growing nonstop. Going back to one year ago, they had 48.7 transactions. Next quarter was 50.1. The quarter after that was 51.4. 53.1 and then 54.7 in the most recent quarter and that represents 12% year over year growth or 3% growth over the sequential quarter just three months ago. That is very good. And generally speaking, what do I think about these earnings? Well, the company is growing free cash flow in a negative way. 
That is the big thing I don't like. The company is still growing revenue decent at around 7%. It's around what I expected for this company. And one thing that they're also going to do is they're going to start buying back shares very heavily. Not only are they doing it, but the good news is they're going to get to buy at record low levels. Because a lot of these buybacks, if we look over the last year or so, quarter one, they bought back a lot of these shares. And these were all around $75, $80 a share. Maybe even higher at some point. At one point, this company was actually around $90 at the beginning of the year. Then in quarter two, they were buying back shares shares you can see all the way from around 75 to the 60s but generally speaking average price was probably somewhere around 65 dollars or so now in the third quarter so far they started out right around 70 dollars a share and we trickled higher but now we're back down to the 60s and almost even the 50s at some point now this means that this company is going to buy back more and more shares at lower lower prices and you can see that from the shares outstanding here this company is buying back almost four percent of its stock just within the last year and i expect it to maintain at these levels if not even go higher if the company stays at these prices now remember they are selling to kkr 1.8 billion dollars worth of buy now pay later loans so they'll be getting an influx of cash here very soon so keep in mind that this cash pile right now at 9.89 billion is not really accurate because right now it's probably somewhere closer to around 11 and a half billion which means that it's probably up closer towards these numbers up here so this company has more cash than debt once they close on the acquisition of those buy now pay later loans which means this company has more money to buy back shares which is something i obviously like as a shareholder while the company's going down in price now this is a big announcement but to me it's not that big us dollar stablecoin is being launched by paypal and this may be a good thing for you know the niche subcategory of older people who like paypal but also still like cryptocurrency I don't really see this as a big news driver. I think it's more of a, a news and a product that's being announced for, for publicity reasons. It's something that they can offer. It's something they're getting involved in. And this may grow revenues a little bit. This may be something they make some money from. And I do say that PayPal stablecoin is probably a lot safer than most stablecoins out there. That said, this is not really something I'm really interested in. PayPal might make a couple, you know, maybe $10 million, $100 million a year off this. Maybe they'll make it into something big one day. Who knows? But this is not something that I really see as something that changes my investing thesis because this is a very small note. This is an ingredient in the pot of soup of what is overall the big growth story of PayPal being transactions through Venmo, transactions through PayPal, and transactions through Braintree. That is not really something I'm worried about, the stablecoin. What I am worried about, though, is the brand new president and CEO of the company, which is Alex Chris. Alex Chris does have a background primarily through Intuit. Now, he was never a CEO. He was not the CEO of Intuit, but he was one of the main go-to guys, especially focused on the software side, which is essentially Intuit's business. And he was one of the main growth drivers for this company over the last several years. Now, this is really good news for PayPal. I think that they got a great guy here. Now, I don't know Alex Chris very well, and I haven't dove into him very deep, but from the bullet points of reading over this document, and if you want to pause it and read over the video right now, you can read over this little article, what it says about him. But generally speaking, he seems like a pretty good guy. Now, the main thing that I think is important here, and the reason why the stock is moving up is two reasons. One, the big investor, Elliott Management, had to okay this new CEO because they own billions worth of the stock and are taking an active management role into the company, and they need to okay the CEO. They okayed this CEO. That's good news. So Elliott Management did their due diligence, and they thought not only did PayPal think he was a good match, but Elliott Management did as well. Furthermore, the reason why this is good news for the company is not because of Alex Chris. Forget Alex Chris. He may be an amazing CEO. He may be a trash, awful, terrible CEO. What really matters here is that we have a CEO that is known. It is no longer this unknown question mark going into PayPal into the next year of who's going to be running the company. Now we get to know directly up front who's going to be the main driver going into growth for 2024 and beyond. And right now it's Alex. If Alex were to step down tomorrow, the stock would likely go back down because it would be another question mark of who's going to be 
be running the company. So this is good news for PayPal. And generally speaking, I thought earnings were okay. I think that free cash flow should be better. I think that active accounts should be better. I think that revenue growth is okay. And I do like the sale of the acquisition of their buy now pay later and then buying back lots and lots of shares. Since this is a company that I have almost 20% of my invested net worth in, this is not one that I'm looking to add in right now. Right now, I did buy some short-term call options off the back of this news. I think we will see some excitement back into the stock, but I'll likely be selling these very early, very soon. Don't be surprised within the next week or two if I already have these sold. This is a very short-term trade, but generally speaking, this is one that I will be holding that 20% in, but I don't expect it to be bigger unless this company were to go down into the 50s, then I'd probably start adding more. If this company could get back to the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s, $100 range, that's really when I would start to look to sell this position. But overall, it's one that I'm going to be holding, likely over the next several months, if not the next year or so. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.